Indian soldier inside Indian territory. You have been president of Pakistan and also its army chief. Do you think, General Musharraf, that it was a mistake for the Pakistanis to have escalated matters on the border and then continued to play hardball diplomatically? Well, I, frankly, I don't know the facts. But whoever is doing it, it uh, this situation is terrible. And escalating on the line of control, where we've had a very peaceful line of control at this time, is uh, should be totally unacceptable to both the governments. So I really don't know the reality. Uh, I mean, uh, there are accusations uh, from the Indian side, which I do hear, yes. Uh, but there are clarifications and counter accusations from the Pakistani side. So I don't know the reality on ground. Uh, all that I would like to say is peace must prevail and uh, this must stop. Uh, no sane person uh, would, uh, would think that this escalation is in anyone's interest. If that is the case, don't you find it completely surprising, General Musharraf? that an aggressive Pakistan has violated the ceasefire 117 times in 2012. How responsible is that, General Musharraf, in your view? The, again, now, this is what you are saying. I mean, I don't know the reality, I don't know the facts. I can't imagine that Pakistan has done this. If they have done it, yes, this is absolutely wrong. But there is a big if. What you are saying, if I was to go by what Indians are saying, what your, what your side is saying, well, the, uh, that is terrible. But Pakistan, uh, I don't know who could be wanting to escalate. I mean, Pakistan army is already involved all over Pakistan on the western border. I don't think the army, any, any uh, uh, leadership in the army would like to involve Pakistan army more and escalate on the line of control. So I don't accept this argument. It doesn't stand to logic. Are, are you saying that the, any escalation? A, and General Musharraf, let me tell you, uh, we have such detailed information, and none of this information has actually been factually contradicted by the Pakistanis, either the government or the army, not been factually contradicted. Are you saying, as the former president of Pakistan, yeah. that it is not in the interests of the Pakistan government or the Pakistan army to escalate matters at all with India? Absolutely. I am saying that. Now, if they were, there has not been any response from the Pakistan side, I am surprised and shocked. But, however, I know for certain that it is not in the interest of the army or uh, the government of Pakistan. But, uh, having said that, uh, uh, you haven't mentioned, did you mention the allegation of beheading of an Indian soldier? As far as that is concerned, let me say with, if anyone has done it, if anyone has beheaded a soldier and sent a headless body, is the most terrible, wild act, inexcusable act. But I also believe knowing Pakistan army, anyone who does that will be court-martialed, he'll be punished more strongly. So I don't understand how any such an occurrence took place. I don't know what is the evidence available. Because on the line of control, when firing takes place, uh, the, the entire line of control is bunkered, and there are trenches... Uh, uh, they are not crawl trenches, they are walking trenches all along the line of control. So what has been happening in the past when we used to f exchange fire was with snipers at long distances of 500, 600 yards firing at each other and killing each other whenever an opportunity arose. So, but, uh, now, I can't imagine how this if, body got into the hands of the Pakistanis. No, my, Was this soldier across because, because the Because the Pakistanis side? crossed the LOC. Or it's it's the no, General Musharraf. It's simply because the Pakistanis violated the ceasefire and crossed into the line of control, How? well into the How? Indian territory, like to... No, I would like in the Mendhar sector of okay. Jammu and Kashmir. No. Please, please understand, I don't believe, I don't know the facts, let me admit first of all. But I am, I am working only on logic 
and I am working on understanding what the Pakistani army does. Yes. I can't imagine that some soldiers went across the line of control. Yes. Killed an Indian soldier. Yes. Beheaded him and took his head away and left the body. I can't imagine, I just can't imagine any soldier doing this. He should be, if anyone has done it, the strongest punishment should be given to him. Sir, let me remind you, because you're saying you were president of Pakistan in, uh, in February 2000. And uh, let me remind you, General Musharraf, this man called Ilyas Kashmiri, who's a dreaded terrorist commander, recently killed in an American drone attack. Now, there were reports then, and I'm talking about February 27, 2000, when you were the president of Pakistan, that an Indian sepoy was beheaded and his I severed head was it. taken back into Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Pakistani media, at that point of time, General Musharraf had reported that Ilyas Kashmiri, paraded the head before senior generals and in fact that he was felicitated and rewarded with one lakh rupees for bringing back the head of an Indian soldier. This was all over the Pakistani media in February 2000 when you were the president of Pakistan. Let me, let me tell you, this is most ridiculous. I totally reject it as malicious anyone who's saying this. This was the These Pakistani are media. Not done. We are not that stupid. Nobody is that stupid. If Pakistani media said it, well, they have said a wrong thing. They are lying. That is what I can say. Nobody is that stupid here that somebody brings a head and you reward him with one lakh rupees. Please don't portray us like mad people. We are not mad people. This was reported in the Pakistani media. General Musharraf, Pakistan always... If, if, anyone has done, if anyone has done that, he is telling lies. I am 100% sure. Well, according to the media, Ilyas Kashmiri led the guerrilla attack on the Indian post with 25 fighters, vastly outnumbering the Indians and returned with the head of an Indian, which he presented to top army officials. Okay. Now, you may call it mad, but this is what was reported at that time. I have now, no reason to make it up. Well... General Musharraf. I have... Ilyas Kashmiri or anyone is not the Pakistan army and That's we are the not they are they, they are uh, they are they are mujahideen groups ah. who are working independently they yeah. have public support some yeah. of them yeah. and that is what happens but if anyone says that he brought up back a head and then he was presented one lakh rupees by whom by the army and the government this is ridiculous i don't believe it this is absolutely wrong I would repeat again, this was reported, reported extensively in the Pakistan media. My question to you, General Musharraf, is on a broader issue. You know, this, as expected in this case, Pakistan has denied any role in the death and the beheading of our soldier. And India is tired of these denials and deniability which have become part of the standard policy framework of every Pakistani government in power. With all respect, General Musharraf, including your own. You know, you spoke about Mujahideen. When you spoke uh, in an interview in 2003, you said, and I have your quote, you said Kargil was a decision taken by the Mujahideen and we got involved because of the action by the US Indian troops. You said that. Am I wrong? You said that. Yes. 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 That is right. If, if that is the case. That is right. I said if, that. If, if, if that and is I the case. I maintain it. Because if that... Mujahideen were there. Yeah. Mujahideen, these Mujahideen are already, uh, because of the freedom struggle in Kashmir, I mean, you're not going into the root causes of the problem. I'll go. I'll I go. have always been saying, please go into the root cause. Uh, address the root cause and all these, uh, you'll pull the carpet from under the uh, rug, from under their feet. These Mujahideen groups have public sympathy.